Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we're going to talk about the Palatin Technologies Incorporated PTN Melody One Data Delay Summary. Today is the 16th of January, 2024, and in this, we're going to be looking at what's going on with the Melody One data. We're going to be looking at the bullish and the bearish parts of it to see kind of where we're at, when we might see it, and kind of going from there. So I generally follow Small Cat Pharma. I do some games. I do a little bit of everything. So if you like what I'm doing, hey, please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot, and thank you. As claimers, I do own some stock in the company. Now, this claimer is I have been playing with the 250 options, buying and selling them as needed, and keeping some $5 option rounds for the cheap, just in case. Now, these are very cheap and probably going to expire worthless, but just in case. I did sell a decent amount of stock at $4, which, looking back, was a great idea, but I believe there's still a lot more play in the stock around that 250 option, so we're going to go with that. I'm an amateur investor, and any advice given should be followed up by your own due diligence. And any information given is valid for today, the 16th of January, and the slideshow will not be updated when we get the news, new slideshow. So what happened? So 2023 came and went, and the Melody 1 data, which was supposed to be released late 2023, did not occur. Based on what we know and the data, uh, information that's been released, the company wasn't even close to being able to release the data in 2023. So again, that would have been nice to get some kind of acknowledgement before the beginning of your update, but we got radio silence. So it looks like we might see the data in quarter one, but again, we've heard this song and dance before. And like I said, when I see it, I'll believe it. So when do you think it's gonna occur? So, so the database lock occurs in the second half of January, 2024. They don't give us a date. It could be tomorrow because technically that's the second half. It could be the 31st of January. I am not sure. The database lock means that they've released, they've uh, entered all the data, it's been verified, and then it's reviewed. Because after you lock the database, you cannot go back and change. So if there is an error in it, it, it that's gonna it's stuck at that point. And then you got to do a whole lot of stuff to, uh, on top of it. So database locks take some time, but no major analysis can occur until that database is locked. So we're kind of stuck into that. And not knowing when in January is, of course, going to push back when the day is released. So, and again, with this database lock not being in the second half, it really tells me that they were nowhere close to getting the data released. That would push the top line data until February 2024 at the earliest. However, that's going to be only the interim analysis. And, you know, again, if it occurs January 31st, that's when the database gets locked. February is pushing it. So we might see it in March. And, you know, again, the company, unfortunately, has never showed a lot of speed in this kind of aspect. So we are hoping first quarter, but again, it might get pushed. So where does that put us? So at the end of the third quarter, 2023, we had about five and a half million in cash. Uh, the company operating expenses were around 8 million. So on a, the 20th of October, they had a small offering that produced about 5 million. Uh, they received 12 million from Cosette Pharmaceuticals around the new year with the deal. And then of course, there will be a little fourth quarter Valisi uh, numbers, I did not put that in there. That's probably about 2 million-ish, we hope. Uh, with all that said, they should have around 22 million. So based on that $8 million operating expense, that should easily get them through the first, fourth quarter and the first quarter of 2024, and either some or most of the second quarter of 2024. So again, we are on razor's edge like we've always been since this, as they've continued to be able to have the money to push it back a little bit. But again, you know, at some point, that's not going to happen. Okay, so now we're supposed to get Melody 1 data and PL81777 data in the first quarter of 2024. You know, again, that's more data that's been pushed back. So again, I will see it. When I see it, I will believe it. Uh, the company will raise cash after the data. That is 100%. You know, or very close to 100%. So... Because the company will need to start Melody 2 and 3. And currently, the NDA submission is set for the second half of 2025. So we are in the beginning of 2024. So just to get through this year at the same cash burn, you're going to need 32, 40 million. So they need to raise cash. So based on the market cap, though, any successful trial is going to shoot up the stock since the market cap is sitting at 35 to 40 million. Now, that is 100% true. If they get good data, we are going to see. Stock price goes up. We saw a lot of that in anticipation of the stock rising from two to four very quickly. 
And then the company will use this to sell shares when the data is released. Unless they have something or someone already set up based on the positive data. That is a possibility. But again, the company will need cash and a fair amount of it to complete this second phase three trial. And I will continue to buy and sell the options and will look to sell shares on positive data with re-entry based on the cash raise. So that is kind of like my little insurance is those $5 options I was talking about in case just my plan does not work out. It's just a very small incentive for it. But again, I'm going to be looking for those 250s since we are very close to that price and just kind of playing them based on the market cap. And then knowing that when the data comes and the stock shoots up, that they're going to sell shares. So hopefully this helped you kind of figure out where they're doing, maybe a plan forward. Again, if you buy shares and you're like, I don't want to deal with having to worry about buying and selling. If you buy shares and the data is good, we are going to be above 240 250 $83. And we're probably going to stay there. So we're probably in pretty good shape long term. But for those of you who are, hey, I want extra positions or I just want to be done, you have your options. So thank you very much for watching and listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.